Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we're back playing some Sky Factory for episode 9. And last episode, we set up this huge guy over here, the mob spawning trap, that is actually doing pretty flipping well. And uh, if we head on down here and have a look into this little uh, golden chest, you'll see that we actually have a ton of stuff, uh, mostly just a bunch of birds that we should probably start to get rid of, uh, as well as some, uh, some useless armor that we should probably scrap as well. But we'll get around to that in just a second. First things first. First, I want to go through the changes that I've made to the platform uh, since last episode. You can see I've moved the tree farm back. It's now got its own, like, nice little confined area. Uh, pretty symmetrical compared to what this one looks like. And I did that just because I wanted a bit of space, a bit of breathing room. It used to be that we walk outside and there was just, like, a forest of trees that was uh, stopping us from doing anything. So I pushed that back. Uh, I also have been planting and harvesting these a little bit more. As you can see, they're all doing pretty well. We'll grab all of those. We probably got an extra seed there. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we didn't. Oh, well, that's fine. We could throw you in there. I've been planting and harvesting these like there's no tomorrow. And they just keep going back. Because the, um, the mob trap is giving us so many bones from the skeletons. So we have like infinite amounts of bone meal at this point. Uh, especially when you put it in the sprinkler. Because the sprinkler doesn't really uh, use them all that much. Look at this. We've got like two, three and a half stacks of, of bones. Times that by three. For every to get bone meal and we've got a ton uh, of bone meal which is kind of cool uh, i moved all the barrels over there just to make it a little cleaner looking uh, left this here because we're gonna be a bit of a pain to move and the crafting station kind of just moved in two blocks i also moved this guy down here uh, you may notice this looks a little bit cleaner i i basically just took everything that was here the aqueous accumulator and the water either side of it and moved it down one level now it's just there with the water either side. That is because today, what I want to get started on is a planter and a harvester setup for our little farm over here. So, what I think I'm going to do is, I'm thinking about having maybe a harvester here, a planter in the middle, and then I'm thinking about dedicating most of it to magical crops, and then just having a little section of wheat for now, uh, until we can get a second uh, planter and harvester setup going uh, for just wheat, because I kind of want to focus in on, on the magical crops and get a, like a massive farm of it going. So we have just a ton uh, of essence and stuff and we can really start just moving all of our production uh, away from the ex nihilo stuff and more towards magical crops i think that'd be a really fun way to go about it because although ex nihilo is pretty cool we can make all of this stuff here we've kind of done it before with all the all the packs that are skyblock or hardcore questing mod or stuff like that all kind of have this ex nihilo thing in and it's a bit of a pain trying to get these from this form uh, into ingot form without having a ton of cyclic assemblers or smelteries or or just stuff like that so i think we're going we're gonna to leave this running, of course, just so we get some extra stuff. But I think I'm going to try and move everything over to Magical Crops, if it's possible. We'll see how it goes. We might not end up doing it, but uh, we could try, can't we? So, first thing we're going to need is the Planter and Harvester itself, which are surprisingly easy to make. Uh, if you have a look, the planter is just some plastic sheets, a piston, a factory machine block, which we already have. Uh, we've got one in there, and for some reason, one in here as well. Let me quickly get rid of some junk that I don't need. Uh, you guys like so. We also got a bunch of gunpowder as well, by the way, from the uh, mob trap. We'll take you. We shall begin to smelt up some more of this rubber, actually. That's probably a good idea. And uh, also, by the way, yeah, somebody in the comment section pointed out that uh, if you put uh, wheat in here like that and craft it, you get wheat flour. And every single piece of wheat flour can be then smelted up into a piece of bread, which gets you a piece of bread per wheat, which is a lot more efficient than th the normal three pieces of wheat per bread, which uh, is pretty cool. So, uh, do we have a spare piece of plastic lying around? We do not. That's fine. We can take this guy, throw him in here, and that should start to cook up pretty quickly. We'll throw you in there for now and add a bit more wood. Can we make one out of this? We can. Okay, good stuff. Throw you in there. Let that cook up. Uh, you are going to do your job. You're going to throw you in there. That's going to do that. Okay, so we need that and we need a harvester. Both of which are actually surprisingly simple, like I said earlier. Uh, especially when you go with the default Mine Factory Reloaded recipe instead of the uh, Thermal Expansion one. Uh, I can kind of see why most mod packs use this one. Uh, it's a bit more harder to get and, pff, to be honest, for a harvester, probably a bit more, like equal and balanced this seems a bit too easy to get uh, plastic sheets you can get from any tree four iron three gold and a factory machine which is just plastic and stone that's incredibly easy to get which i'm not gonna lie i quite like because it means that we can do this stuff pretty early on uh, especially with skyblock i can kind of see why they did it but hey i'm not gonna complain so we are gonna need some iron which we have in here we also have some downstairs in the smeltery if we need more so we'll go boom 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 get two sets of shears 
go ahead and make ourselves a golden axe. One, two, three. And we should actually be pretty much good to go. We'll take you. Boom. And boom. And boom. What are we missing? You can go there. You guys can go either side. Axe in the middle. Factory machine at the bottom. And a harvester. Nice. So you can see that was fairly easy. Now for the planter, it's a little bit harder. And I mean a little tiny wee bit little harder. We're going to need a piece of redstone, which I hope we have somewhere. Uh, ooh, we may not have any redstone. That would be a bit of a pain. And I'm pretty sure it's required, isn't it? <laughs> we could use a sticky piston of milk if we happen to have a sticky piston lying around. But no, it looks like it is pretty much uh, required. We could actually do with getting some redstone seeds. That'd probably be a good idea to go for. Uh, how much are these? Like, redstone seeds. Let's have a look. Because redstone seems to be one of the things that's going to be pretty hard to get because we're not sifting through a ton of dust. Uh, it re requires some regular essence. Ah, we might be able to pull that off uh, if we can get this fully, like, full-fledged planting and harvesting setup going. We can get, like, a bunch of essence really quickly and hopefully escalate to those redstone seeds. But for now, it looks like it's a bit out of our reach. Uh, come on, redstone, please. Ah, we could, we, <laughs> we kind of put, um... We kind of put all of our eggs in one basket there. It didn't really get a return. Uh, do we have any dust? We have three. Come on, who, who's betting on me here? Who are we, Who's betting we're going to get some, some redstone? Come on, one piece. Just one piece. One piece. That's not one piece. Last one, we got like a 10% chance. Come on, come on, come on. No, okay, we didn't get anything. All right, that's a shame. Okay, let's go ahead and get ourselves some more dust. Throw all this stuff down. Do we have a hammer lying around? We do. We have multiple. I, uh, I just recently changed all the hammers in the um, autonomous activator down below as well. So that should last quite a while. Do it again. Throw all you guys down. Here we go. Boom. And then third time's the charm. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Ta da! Nice. Okay. Come on, redstone. We only got 14, but hopefully we're going to get some. Nope. And yes, okay, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. We'll come back to that when we need it. All right, so back to the planter. A little bit of a sidetrack there, but we now have ourselves a piston. Or the stuff to make a piston. Is that going to work? Nice. So we got a piston. Now all we need is three plastic sheets, which we've got. Uh, a factory machine we have. Now we just need two plant pots. And to get those, we are going to need some clay. So... Let's quickly grab a bite to eat so we don't die. Or just get really hungry so we can walk fast. Here we go. You. You. And in order to do that, we are going to need... This Like this is like the 10th bucket we've made this series. Like, I, I keep having to make them because we keep we died like three times last episode trying to make that mob trap. So, uh, yeah. And we lost a bucket like every time. So, we'll grab you. We will throw you in there. We'll add this piece of dust. Look at that for coincidence. And then we'll just throw this down and break it. That gets us four... And then we are going to need another one. But before we go and get that, I'm going to go throw you into a furnace. Because we do need to cook this up. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. You guys can go in there. And you guys can go in there. Look at this. It's a good thing we have so many furnaces. I, uh, I don't know what we'd do without them. Let's go and grab one more piece. And we should be pretty much good to go. Throw you in there. Add some dust. Get the clay. Break it into clay balls. And we're good. Nice. All right. So, let's throw you in there as well. I'm only going to throw in as many as we need, which is six. Because we might need this clay for something else later on. So, I'll throw the rest of that in there. We'll take this as it comes and craft it into these little clay plant pots. Which are always nice. We should probably get some flower pots and just sort of dot them around around here. Make this place look a little bit more homely. And my plan, really, like I said, is to have the harvester over here. I'm going to throw it down smack bang in the middle, which is one, two, three, I believe there. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's smack bang in the middle like that. And then the planter is going to go there, just beneath that slot where you can kind of see what it's going to be. And that's kind of about it. And we're going to have item ducts come out of the back of this. Uh, some of the item ducts, of course, will go back down and around to the planter, uh, refeeding at the seeds. And the stuff that's not the seeds, the stuff that's the essence, will come out and around and into this barrel here. So, I think that setup is pretty much good to go. There is only one flaw with that setup, uh, and that is that, that we'll, we'll cover that in just a second once we've made the planter. But uh, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you, and boom. 
Nice. Okay. So we now have our planter and harvester, and we are ready to go. So let's throw this guy down where he's going to go, which is going to be there. And now the only problem is power. We don't have any power source over on that side of the sky block. Now, somebody in the comment section, and I'll put the comment up on screen. Uh, if you do want to leave a comment, by the way, and it could, be, it, I use it in the uh, in the video. I will try and put it on screen. If I don't, I apologize. Uh, it's just because I forgot about it, or I didn't see. I forget to do it in the editing page, but I'll try and do it. But uh, yeah, somebody in the comment section suggested force engines, and uh, if we have a look, and we go to dark craft. This is the mod that adds the force gems and, uh, coincidentally, a force engine, which we can use via force gems to create some power. So, we're going to need three force ingots, a glass, a piston, and some more force gears, which makes me think we're going to need a one more piece of redstone to get that uh, thing. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. So, actually, we're going to need... Yeah, we can, we can figure something out. Uh, ooh, actually, hmm... No, we should be fine. We should be fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what I was thinking about in a second. But, uh, yeah. So, we're going to need some force ingots, some force gears, a piston, which is why I got some redstone. So, let's grab another one of you. Thank you very much. And a piece of glass. Do we have any glass lying around? We do... Ooh, good. <laughs> okay. I was going to say we don't, but we do. I would like, actually, one more piece of redstone. If I can make two force engines, that would be spiffing. Because uh, two fo two force engines means that I don't have to go ahead and and get some leadstone energy conduits to connect the both up to one force engine. I could just put one on each side and it should work fine. So we'll do that. We'll get another piston, and now we just need the force ingots. So in order to get force ingots, we need force, and in order to get that, we need to visit our little guy down here. So you can see we have forty four force gems. There is something I think like a ten percent chance uh, of getting force gems, or maybe even less. It's like a two to five percent chance. Uh, of getting, actually, I can just tell you right here, kind of recipe. It is a three percent chance. I was right with two to five percent. There is a three percent chance of getting false gems every time you sift through gravel. Luckily, we are sifting through quite a large amount of gravel, so we have quite a large amount of false gems. Now, in order to turn these into false ingots, all you have to do is one of two things: you can either you can use iron or some basic materials with a false gem, and that will get you two false ingots, or you can use slightly more precious metals like silver or gold, and you get three false ingots per uh, false gem here. Now I'm going to do this because we're not really using all that much silver and we have quite a lot of it. So I will take a bunch of those. Now we need two gears, which looks something I believe like this. Thank you. And then we should be good to go. Nice. I gets us one. And do we have the stuff for another? Uh, oh no, we need more gears, don't we? Okay, so we're going to need a few more of these gems, but that's fine. Like I said, we've got quite a bit of silver that we're not really using. So we'll grab you. We'll do that. And that. Take two more of these guys. And then, boom. Didn't quite work, but there we go. Boom. Nice. All right. So once we've got these, we can head on over to our planter and harvester. And I'm hoping that these guys can just instantly connect and don't require a conduit between them. But I might be wrong. Can we put that there? We can. And then we do need to hook these up with water or some form of coolant. Uh, milk is, the, I believe, the best coolant for these, but we don't, currently don't have any source of milk. So we're going to use water. And then false gems on the other side. That's going to fill it with false like so. And then if we look in here, we should start to see some energy. It says none, none. We actually, we're going to need a lever, aren't we? That is fine. Make ourselves two levers, boom, and throw them down just behind like this. F apparently, you can't put levers on farmland. That is new news to me. Okay, so we're going to throw down a piece of cobblestone then, I guess. Lever on that, boom, and there we go. This thing is getting juice. Nice. So I'm hoping that this thing isn't going to continue to... Mm, it's still pumping, even though there's not any... Like, it's not using up the power. That's probably going to be a bit of a problem if it's not running, but I'm hoping that the planter is going to be running quite a lot of the time. So hopefully it's not going to be too big of a deal. Now, of course, we're going to need one of these next to the harvester, or probably actually underneath the harvester would be a better place to put it. So let's have a look. Uh, let's run over here. Do we have a pickaxe? We do. Let's throw the force engine down there, just beneath it. Like that. And then we'll cover that back up. And then we need some item ducts, which are not too expensive. Just some lead and some tin. Actually, we might have some item ducts just sort of lying around. We have some... Hmm. We have some transfer pipe. I'm 
I'm going to make some item ducts as well, but I want to test if transfer pipe works. Actually, we already have them. We can test them both. Uh, I know for a fact item ducts work. I use them most of the time, but it'd be kind of cool if uh, if transfer pipes worked as well. They do. That is, that is kind of cool. Uh, however, I'm not going to use them because... Um, I need to be able to specify where things go because I want stuff. I want these guys to go over to here. The um, the essence. I want the essence to go into this barrel, and I want the seeds to go down and around to the other guy. So we're gonna want to disconnect that in a second so that they don't go into the force engine. We are gonna need a couple more of these item ducts, but that's not too big of a deal. We'll get some more tin, some more lead. Craft these guys up. Boom, boom. Boom. 12 should be enough, I think. So, let's go down here again. Hoping for the last time and do something like this. And that's going to hook up like that. Now we want to make sure that we know. <laughs> I didn't want to lose that. I didn't want to lose that. Come on. Uh, hopefully that's not too bad. I think the crescent hammer is fairly easy to make. Is it just tin and iron? Uh, yeah, it's just tin and iron. Okay. And look at that. We've got um, no tin. We've got three iron. Exactly. Which is quite nice. Okay, tin and iron. Could have done with not having to make another one of these, but that's fine. Boom, boom, boom. Good stuff. And then we'll come down here. Try this again. This time not throwing it on the floor like a fool. Just right click on that bit. Oh, not whilst... Right click on it whilst not shifting. Like that. There we go. I was holding shift because I didn't want to fall off the edge there. So we'll click that like that, and then we'll do the other one from up here so we can reach it. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Don't want you connecting, and I want to make you an output. So now that should work fine. All right. Yes, that should be perfect. So we'll put you some false engines in, false gems even. And then we'll go ahead and throw down some fluiducts, which we are again going to need a few more of. But again, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Let's grab you guys and some lead. Boom. Nice. Okay, we are getting very close now. We should be actually uh, pretty much good to, uh, to say this is done. So we'll put down... I think we're going to have to break that in a second yeah we'll do that when we get up to the up top and we'll break that a fl that slab so we can connect it up to the fluid duct but without further ado we should be good to start doing some uh, some planting and harvesting so we'll pull out our pickaxe we'll get rid of you we will connect this up we are going to need to break this guy to get in our lever which i'm again going to assume is it's not going to go on there. Wow, okay. Um, apparently, oh, wait, you can't put them on the uh, on the bottom. That's uh, a new 1.8 feature. You can actually put um, levers on the bottom of blocks like that. But uh, you cannot do that on on the current version. So uh, let's quickly go and... I'm going to quickly go ahead and harvest all these. Because I don't want the harvester doing it. There we go. Okay, we'll grab all of those. And then what we'll do is we'll grab all these and we'll throw these down into the planter. So we'll put the five seeds in and that should start to plant them, which it is. It's thrown down them five seeds. And then what we should be able to do is go ahead and grab our watering can from inside. And if we start to like insta grow those, hopefully this should work. Now I've had somewhat mixed answers from people. Some people have said, yes, it works. It's perfect. You can use the planter and harvester on the magical crops. Some people have said, no, it doesn't work at all. It's not possible. It doesn't, it just breaks or they lose seeds. And it, it, it's been a real mixed bag. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to try. And as soon as we get a full, a fully fledged plant at hundred percent growth, the harvester should pick it up. It should send the seeds around to the planter and it should send the essence round to the barrel over here. So we'll see if it's going to work. I'm kind of hoping it does. But it kind of looks like it's not going to. Which is a real pain. Is this working? This is not working. This is stuck. Why are you stuck? There we go. It had wheat in it. Yeah, that's what kind of what I didn't want to happen. Okay, here you go. Time to shine. That is ticking away. It can take a few seconds to get to the right point. Come on. Come on. Might as well water some more whilst we wait. You can do this. You can harvest that one. It's fully grown. Go on. 
Come on, please. I think the way these mine factory loader machines work is the... Oh, it's not even... Ah, come on, Isaac. Come on. <sighs> I made the biggest, newbiest, new mistake. And I know that everyone in the comment section is going to have a government for this one. We need an upgrade. Come on now, Isaac. Ah, we need upgrades. So, <laughs> by default, the planter and the harvester work in a little uh, three by three area. So, the planter is only going to plant in these slots here. The ones in this, like, circle that's just adjacent to it. Uh, if we want to go further, we need one, two, three. We need a three slot upgrade. And if we want this to go further, we also need the same three slot upgrade in there. So, what I think I'm going to do is get a four slot upgrade just to be on the safe side, which is a copper upgrade. So, we need six more plastic, uh, four more flipping redstone. Da! Okay, <laughs> we need four more redstone, some more plastic. Do we have enough? We have more than enough. We'll cook some more up anyway. We'll throw that in there. I will go ahead and get some more redstone. We should have the gold to get golden nuggets, so that should be fine. And I think I'm going to have to cut away and be back in a second once we have ourselves all the stuff we need to make the upgrades for the machines. Okay, so we now have the four redstone that we need. Let's grab ourselves a piece of gold. We could turn this into golden nuggets. And we should be good to go. So we'll go with copper. Boom. One. And what are we missing for the second one? We are missing two copper, three copper, two redstone, golden nuggets, and the plastic sheets, of course. Okay, we'll grab all of you. And then, boom, boom. Nice. Okay. So, now that we've missed our dirt moment and we can go ahead and uh, actually start to do this properly, if I throw this into here, it should, hopefully, fingers crossed, harvest those um, crops. This is also going to be able to plant in a much larger area now. And this should start to work. Come on. Now that I've got the right stuff, you've got to work. You've got to, you've got to prove everybody. Like, there we go. There we go. Okay, so on 44, we should see a nice bump to maybe 46. Any second now as the item looks 45. And 46. 46. Nice. Okay. It works. It's beautiful. And then we should see them two get replanted. There we go. Any second now. Beautiful. Okay. We have a fully functioning planting and harvesting system, which is pretty flipping awesome. So what I'm probably going to do between this episode and next is grab my watering can and just go ahead and stand around here for a but ton of time making sure these all get fully grown to mature until we get a bunch of seeds and hopefully eventually we should have enough to cover this whole area which will be awesome uh, unfortunately we're not getting any animals spawning on this area here i might have to make it a bit bigger or just move it further away but i'm kind of disappointed no animals have spawned on there just yet and one last thing i want to do before we wrap up here is i want to tick off one more achievement in the achievements book and that is create power from three different fuels we have now created power from force lava and any form of thing that will burn we have been using uh, anything wood charcoal coal anything we have three different three different sources of fuel three different generators of fuel so i'm going to go ahead and tick that off we are doing quite nicely on this actually how many have we done so far we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten quests done in nine episodes so we're doing more than a quest an episode that is pretty cool uh don't know if that's going to continue because i think it might take us actually no look here we go automate the farm with the planter and harvester done we have done 11 we are doing pretty well uh it might take us a while to do things like fly or to get all the way along here and uh like fill a 64k fluid storage drive with another liquid uh, with a liquid other than water and uh, and fight and kill two bosses at once that could take a while but uh, hey that's what that that makes it fun doesn't it that's what all the fun's about so uh, yeah without further ado thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the video please hit like and i will see you next time for episode 10 where we're gonna hopefully uh, finish up some more stuff make make sure everything's in a nice spot for the world download which will be coming next episode because i like to give world downloads every 10 episodes just that's just it's, it's a nice spot, isn't it? Every 10 episodes, it's, it's, it's beautiful. So, yeah. Bye!